Hi, it's Jeff Quinton again here at Prudential Fox and Roach Realtors down at the shore. And I wanted to do, uh, give you this video today and share this with you as far as the process of a short sale and what is my responsibility, what is your responsibility, and so that we're all on the same exact page understand what we do to process the short sale, how we go about it, and exactly the roles we take involved and so that you're most informed in the process and know exactly what to expect along the way. Okay. Number one is, if you're a seller thinking of getting your property on the market and obviously selling as a short sale, or maybe you're already currently under contract as a short sale, before we can do anything at all, the complete seller short sale package needs to be filled out in, in its entirety, 100% completed with all financials, all the information, the hardship letter, everything we need, along with authorization, so that myself my staff and my hired negotiators, a third party negotiator, can go ahead and work on your behalf to get to the lender. So number one and step one is we always need the complete financial package filled out. Now once we receive the financial package and once we also receive a contract for sale on your property, the next step we're going to take is we are going to basically take the contract for sale, your financial package, and we have also hired a third party outside negotiator that we're working with directly that we pay for, okay, not an expense to the seller or anybody else that we personally pay for out of the commission involved that's being paid by the bank. So this third party negotiator can go ahead and work in your behalf and our behalf directly with the lender to handle all aspects of the short sale. We have two different outsourcers we use regarding this that we've partnered up with that have years and years of experience in getting short sales approved, hundreds and thousands of short sales approved, and they have direct access with all the lenders directly at the loss mitigation departments so that they go in with their connections and past experiences and, and uh, VIPs and presidents of the banks, everybody at department heads to be able to expedite and get these short sales approved fast. We've got the relationships with them through our third party negotiators. So along the way, a lot of these negotiators are going to request information which they'll come to us and we'll be able to come to you to, as a seller to request that information. Now it's very important that when I request information or someone on my staff that you need to get that information to us immediately. Everything is time sensitive with regards to these short sales. And so it can be very frustrating when we're not getting all the information from a seller so we can get it directly to the bank. Because here's something guys, you gotta understand. These short sale negotiators that sit behind the desk many times have between two and 400 files stacked all the way up on their desk. Now when they go through it, if one little piece of paper is not in there, they put you right at the bottom. Okay, This is, this is a very, very uh, sensitive issue and if we don't get them all the information that they want right then, it's that you go right to the bottom and if we don't have it completed the right way, you go right to the bottom. That's why the short sale process is a lot of times takes a long time. However, we right now have the right people when we have the right information to expedite them through. Now many sellers want updates. Here's the deal. I don't always get all the updates. My negotiator, third party negotiator will have all the updates which we will provide you their phone number, their email address and everything so you can contact the third party negotiator that we hire directly. So you don't need to call us every week or every five weeks or every five minutes or whatever and request what the update is because we're only going to have our update once we get it from them. And so it's real important you to connect directly with our negotiator so they understand exactly, uh, so you guys can get on the same page and know where we're at within the process. A lot of times they won't have any answers. There's always going to be different lenders involved. Sometimes there's a first lender, a second lender, a third lender. And sometimes, for example, Wachovia right now has, has transferred all their platform from the Wachovia platform over to the Wells Fargo platform. You know, so it's now de delaying a lot of the process from all the Wells Fargo, excuse me, all the Wachovia uh, ones we had started with. Now they're on the, the Wells uh, side. Same with GMAC, same with Chase and Wamu, all those together. So it's, it's, a, it's a pretty complex situation. We've hired the right people to handle it for you. We want you to talk directly with the negotiator if you have any problems, questions, whatever it may be. So that's pretty much the, the status. Now, if you're a real estate agent working on the other side, exact same thing. Talk to our negotiator direct. If you're the buyer's agent on the other side, exact same thing. Our negotiator will give you access also direct to them so you can eliminate just calling us every five minutes because we don't always have the answers. We're getting it. We're waiting to get it directly from them as well. So that's kind of how we're going to proceed here in the process so you guys understand who to contact, when to contact. We certainly are here to take any calls and so forth and handle it. We just want to make sure you're getting the highest and uh, best response the quickest uh, directly with the negotiator because they'll have all the answers in the process. So hopefully that answered your question regarding what we expect. 
uh, what you guys may expect in the process. Now, you got to understand, some short sales were getting approved in 30 days. Wachovia's got a fast track program right now, which is incredible. Uh, others are taking four months, six months, sometimes nine months, even a year. We've got one right now that can take that long when there's three lenders involved, and sometimes there's liens on the properties, all kinds of things show up, mechanics liens, tax liens, condominium, do condominium association, homeowner association uh, liens on the property. We've got to clear all this up so that basically the end result right now for you as a seller is to have a property whereby we get a short payoff, 100% approved with your lender, and zero, no judgment deficiency placed against you for any balance owed from a first lien holder, second lien holder, whichever it may be. We know what we're doing. We know how to structure the package. We know how to structure the settlement HUD-1 sheet so it's presented to the bank so they understand and see the exact, exact uh, net proceeds. So we're doing our part here. We know what we're doing. We're closing a lot of short sales. We've got about 20 right now at any given time in process. And uh, we're using great negotiators making it happen. But we understand that it can be frustrating along the way. You've got to have patience in this process. And that's what I want to make, uh, make you guys aware of. So again, any questions, concerns, call me. Call my office. My number again is 609-398-5333. But it's real important we get a complete package in right away so we can go ahead and get it to the lender and get that process going. Any questions, call me or email me, jeff at jeffquinton.com. Check me out on the website. Um, under there, there's frequently asked questions about short sales and also the actual complete package that needs to be filled out that's required. And we'll go from there. Uh, any else you need, give me a call. Thanks so much for watching this video. I appreciate it. And uh, again, I look forward to our conversation being the best call of your day. Make it a great one.